Hello everyone, thank you for joining me and welcome to Winter Wednesdays, our first Winter Wednesdays and today I'm going to be showing you how to put together these envelopes from the first add-on kit, kit one. So in that kit there's loads of journal cards and pockets, there's also two pages with an envelope on each with coordinating ephemera that you can use to decorate your envelope up. So we'll start easy and quick and we'll just do this envelope to show you how to put it together and just to show you what it's about. So the envelope's kind of on the page like this at a diagonal, there's then some ephemera bits on the page as well. So imagine that's your blank piece of paper, you just need to cut everything out. I've cut mine out, I've rounded the corners of the envelopes where they needed rounding. I also decided to back this as a journal card and I've rounded the corners of these and these are just extra ephemera pieces. I think I will probably pop Father Christmas onto there like that. So once you all cut out, now I haven't backed mine on um, any other paper because I actually sent mine away to be printed. It was just cheaper and easier for me to do that. I had lots of printing to do because I had those four kits. So mine were printed on single sided. So what I did was I just got my stencil. It was this one here and I'm trying to line it back up, but it doesn't really matter. I went over really lightly in pumice stone with a blending brush and just stenciled it a little bit. So if you, if you only wanted to print double sided, you could, you know, that might be an option for you as well. Mine, as I say, is just copy paper. I'm not, I think it's 80 GSM. It's slightly thinner than I would normally use. And it also has, although I chose the option to print on uncoated paper, it does actually have a sheen, which I'm not overly keen on, but the back doesn't. So I was going to ask whether they had made a mistake and used a coated paper. But now thinking about it, I'm thinking it might possibly be the ink which is causing that sheen. But So if you see a little bit of light reflection, that's the reason why. So yeah, mine is a little bit thinner than what I would normally use. But, you know, it's fine for me to work with. I don't like thick envelopes anyway. So once I had cut everything out, I just used the guide marks already printed and a ruler. Also my bone folder pushed up like that and just went round and scored all of these fold marks like that. Really quick, so you don't even need a scoreboard for this. You can even just use your finger like that. And then that's going to be the flap that goes over so this will go in, this will go in, and this will go up like that. And then all you need to do is put a glue here, glue here, and that seals your envelope. I only stenciled kind of halfway down, because you know, I'm not gonna see all of it, but if you wanted to go all the way down, in case, you know, you're just thinking about someone maybe peeking in, you could do that as well. So I'm gonna put a bit of glue here, here. This is paper I've never used before and I'm hoping it doesn't cause me any problems. We'll just stick that down. And there's that envelope. So that's the back side of the envelope and that's the front. So next I'm going to get the Father Christmas. I'm going to pop him on there. So we've still got lots of writing space on there. Just adds a little something. And I'm just going to, for the moment, pop this to one side. You don't necessarily have to use it with the envelope. You can use it for anything. So what I may do with that is make a little tag. Other options are, um, you could put it on as a little pocket on the back of here. You could use it as a fold over like that and use it as the topper, like a tag topper. You could put it there like that and have it folding over and have more of it on this side. 
so that the hole goes through the middle of the snowflake. There's other, you know, there's loads of things that you can do with it. I'm just going to pop that in there. That's my journaling card and that's envelope one done. So this was the next envelope. Again, it was on the page like this. There was a journaling card. There were two circles in case you wanted to use them as some form of closure or, you know, whatever you wanted to do with them. And there is also um, a leaf which has gone missing. I can't find that, but there's also a leaf as well. So again, I cut it out. I just used the lines that are already given to fold the envelope closed. Uh, sorry, to fold the envelope flaps. And I'm just going to do a quick bit of stenciling. So I need a piece of paper. I'm going to pop this onto a scrap piece of paper to put my stencil down. And then I'm just going to use some washi tape. I'm going to put it here because I actually want to keep the envelope stuck down as well so that the envelope doesn't move while I'm stenciling. So we need the envelope nice and stuck. A bit here. A bit there. Pumice stone ink and a blending brush. Now this is going to look really light, but when you take it off, and see it next to the white of the envelope. The colour shows up quite well. Go down a bit lower on this one maybe. Making sure I get some here. So say, I don't need lows, I just want a little something to stop that stark whiteness. Let's take this off. Okay, there we've got our lovely stenciled image. This can now be closed up in the same way as we did before. Now this card I'm going to leave how it is for now. I've backed that so that can go on the inside. A little journaling card. And I'm going to use one of these as a closure just to help that stay down. I'm thinking of using that one because I think this one may be a bit large. I've already backed it on some card and I'm going to put that glued halfway to help seal that envelope. I just need to make sure that I can still lift that and put it back in and that it holds it. Okay. I'm going to let that dry. This one I'm going to pop to one side with this. So there are our really quick and easy envelopes with a journaling card in each one. Couldn't be quicker. little bit of stenciling on the inside and we're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed that. These are from kit one. I will see you again very soon for a next Winter Wednesdays. Take care. Bye.